so I think, you know, that's one of the challenges is to uh, kind of expand my vocabulary, so to speak. It's like you're studying a bunch of languages at once. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, you know, one of my challenges is learning, you know, the language of, of formal Western music. Um, and then I think there's um, another challenge is for different musical communities to be open to each other. Yes. And um, the way that I'll share that is actually from some different like folkloric styles. So I used to play with a steel drum band, um, which plays music from Trinidad, plays Calypso and Soca and, and Reggae. And, and, um, and so this group would go out and play at festivals in the summertime and I would go and play with that group. Um, but because I sp speak Spanish, I would also connect with some of the other groups like the, like the Andean flute, you know, pan flute groups. And it was so funny because I would talk to the Andean group and I'd be like, oh yeah, I play with the steel band. And they're like, oh yeah, I like that music. It's, it's great, but it all sounds the same. And then I would talk to the steel drum guys and uh, I'd tell them, yeah, I was hanging out with the Andean musicians, the, you know, the flute bands. And, and they'd be like, oh yeah, that's great, but it all sounds the same. Um, and so that whole idea of, you know, how do we really hear each other? Mm. Um, and how do we really, I mean, not just hear each other in terms of musical structures, but really hear each other's experiences. Yes. And that I think is one of the challenges in early music too, is this idea of, you know, how do we um, follow, kind, of, kind of follow these strands, tug on these strands um, and see how they connect different stories and different points of view and different worldviews. Mm -hmm. uh, and so... Yeah, that's one of the challenges.